Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, and today another Battlefield 1 weapon is going under the spotlight. In this video, I'm going to be checking out a support gun, the M1909 Bene Messi. I think that's how it's pronounced, but you know, don't hold me to it. The Hotchkiss M1909 Bene Messi is a French light machine gun, which was designed and created due to demand for a ground-based light automatic weapon, which could be wielded by a single user on the field, as a lot of the heavier weapons around at the time had to be operated by crews of multiple people. Although it was originally intended for ground combat, the weapon weighed in at 27 pounds, which was a bit too bulky to be successful in covering the role that it needed to. So as a result, it was mainly used as a vehicle mounted weapon, or at defensive positions. The M1909 may have had French origins, but it saw its way overseas in many armouries around the world, and was even manufactured using different cartridges in several different countries. The weapon was produced by Enfield in the UK, and in the US it was made by Springfield Armoury and Colt Manufacturing Company. By the time World War I came along, many M1909s were available and used throughout, by several different international forces. It had an interesting design, fed by strip magazines, which you can see being stuck into the gun's right side and exiting out of the left. Though later models were made, which could be belt fed too. Some troops nicknamed the Bene Messi as the Daylight Gun, down to some of the problems it caused them at night, from jams caused by accidentally reloading the strips upside down, along with its difficulty in replacing broken parts whilst in the darkness. Although it was an effective weapon, the M1909 wasn't exactly the most reliable thing in the world, plus it was quite hard to operate properly, so troops often needed additional training to use the gun correctly. So in Battlefield 1 we get to use one of the American models, chambered for the 30-06 Springfield cartridge. The gun can be found under the support class category, and it comes along with three different variations, the Storm, Optical and Telescopic. But anyway, the stats are up next, and taking a look at the damage values for the M1909, we can see that it's got a maximum damage of 21 up to 20 meters. And this is where it quite rapidly decides to drop off, down to the gun's minimum damage value of 19 beyond 25 meters. This is exactly the same damage graph as the bar 1918, and also means that the gun's got a fairly decent minimum damage, making it more powerful than a lot of other LMGs at those medium to longer ranges. You'll be able to drop your opponent in about 5-6 to six bullets, if they've got full health, which is one less at range than both the Lewis gun and the Hewitt automatic. Along with being able to kill a bit easier at range, to complement this, the gun's also got one of the best recoil patterns of the lot too with a vertical figure of 0.28 and a horizontal figure of 0.15. This should make the M1909 generally a more accurate and controllable weapon to use over most of the other support weapons. Just remember that like all of the other LMGs, the M1909 is going to increase in accuracy slightly more so over time whilst shooting, and so it's not a gun that you can really tap or burst fire to stay on target well. Though it does have one of the lowest first shot multipliers, so it might perform a little bit better than some of the others if you really need to tap that trigger. Just keep this in mind. Now it's not all good news, because the M1909 actually has the lowest rate of fire out of all of the LMGs, clocking in at just 450 RPM. This is going to feel pretty damn slow, especially when compared to a few of the other support weapons, and because the gun's also got a fairly similar damage model to those faster firing LMGs, with a lower maximum damage than both the Madsen and the MG15, which are both faster firing guns, you'll notice that it actually doesn't kill very quickly at all. And at close range, the M1909 can easily be beaten by a lot of these other support weapons in one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Ammo capacity is fairly standard, and each one of those funky strip magazines is going to give you 30 rounds to unload at a time. For an LMG, it doesn't exactly stand out from the crowd, and there's quite a few other guns that'll provide you with a lot more ammo per reload should you need it. But it's still enough to usually get the job done fine, and you can reload the M1909 relatively quickly, despite it supposedly being a really finicky thing to do in real life. Let's just presume that the guy that we're playing as in the game has practiced reloading this gun a lot. So anyway, let's go over those different variations and find out what they actually do. Starting off with the Storm variant, this one is going to lower the overall recoil pattern of the gun by 30%. This should make the gun feel a bit more controllable to use, and although it doesn't directly affect the spread of the bullets in automatic fire, it will make your bullet groupings closer together, making it easier to stay on target. A recoil reduction is always going to be a good thing, and with the gun already being fairly stable anyway, this will help you out even more. Next up is the optical version, and this one has its own lens sight fitted, which can zoom in with up to 2.5 times magnification. Those optics are also going to provide you with a buff to aimed accuracy too, with 50% less spread increase per shot, along with 25 less base spread whilst in ADS and moving. 
So basically using that lens optic is going to be more accurate than not using it. And your bullets are going to go where you want them to more so without them randomly deviating away from your opponent with that lower spread. It might not seem quite as controllable as the Storm variant, but it should be more accurate and generally reliable when used in ADS. Finally, we've got that telescopic variant, and this one gives you a very handy bipod for a huge boost in both accuracy and stability whilst it's being used, along with a different scope which can zoom in up to 4.5 times magnification, a little bit more than the optical. This version is going to give you a lower ADS base spread when stationary, and with those added attachments, it's going to be much better at gunning down those other players at longer ranges and holding down defensive positions. Because the M1909 excels at those longer distances, this might be a useful variant to run with for passive aggressive players. In conclusion, the M1909 Bene Messi has one of the best recoil patterns and should seem quite accurate and controllable when compared to other LMGs. It's got decent damage at range, being able to secure a 6 bullet kill. Though up close, you're more often than not going to get ripped to shreds if you come up against someone using a faster firing gun. Its fire rate is the main thing that lets the weapon down, and you'll probably find it to be most effective at medium distances away from those bullet hoses. Despite having the lowest RPM, it can still be a very deadly weapon when used correctly, though it's probably not going to work quite as well up in the front lines, and might be a better choice for defensive players. So that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for plenty more. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.